May peace be upon you, my friend. Canon has released a new firmware update for the Canon EOS R5. It is the big firmware that we are waiting. Well, I think we're gonna go into the Canon website now just to check and see what are the improvements that the Canon, you know, putting out with that new firmware update. And then we will download, you know, the update firmware. And then we update the Canon R5. And then we take it from there. All right, before we get to the Canon website, yeah, please can you just hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, yeah? Appreciate it. All right, I couldn't want that, my friend. Yeah, get into the video now. So, all right, okay. So here we are at the Canon website and um, we have the EOS R5 for my version 2.0.0. I mean, because I use Mac, so it's, it's, it's the Mac. So let's quickly look at what are the improvements before we start downloading the firmware, right? So let me look at it quickly. Okay, guys, so here are the changes that this new firmware 2.0.0 bring, right? It's only five improvement. So let's look at it. Number one, what we have in number one? Number one, several zoom can now be performed remotely from EOS utility and camera connect when the power zoom adapter PZE2 slash PZE2B is attached to compatible lens. Well, I don't have that, so I bypass that. So now the R5 can be used so all right two so now the cf express card with a capacity greater than two terabyte can now be used up to two terabyte uh i don't understand that but anyway i, d I really don't understand that but because even now i can use the r5 with the with the CF Express, because I have a CF Express for the two terabyte, I can still use it. But also then the CF Express card with a capacity greater than two terabyte can now be used up to two. Anyway, I really don't understand, but probably they're saying that you can even put like a four terabyte, you know, CF Express card into your camera, the R5, but then you can use it up to two terabyte no more but before if you put four or three terabyte you cannot even use it so maybe now you can use it but it's still limited to two terabyte so number three i mean you know use the comment box below if you understand it you know differently but i am maybe confused on that i hope that you know my explanation is that's what correct so number three what do we have number three corrected the rare phenomenon why the camera took a long time to start up such as when you're returning from auto power off all right uh, again it's a small improvement number four fixed phenomena that occur only under certain conditions where image were not displayed properly on the viewfinder or monitor and camera operation become inoperable euro 70 may be displayed all right and number five fixed mina mina bugs Right, I mean, um, I really don't think that that is a big, big, big firmware update that we are waiting. Right, it's just a minor, minor, minor changes, minor improvement here. Right, okay, that's fine. Anyway, we're just gonna keep waiting for the big, you know, improvement where we hope, you know, according to the rumor, that we're gonna recall more than 30, 30 minutes. Right then you know that's that's gonna be disappearing with the firmware update apparently so that's a big that's a big change that we know we'll be waiting and hopefully maybe you know we can get c log c log 2 too <laughs> which which will which will thinking yeah <laughs> okay all right so let's quickly download the firmware update so i'm just gonna press on the big red you know download button that you can see here that's it so let's download it all right Okay, so it's downloaded, so finish downloading, so then, you know, the next step, so I just need to take it and put it on, on the, 
on on the SD card. I think that's also important to understand that um, you can only use the SD card in order to update the firmware. All right, so now, okay, I got the card, so here it is. So now I'm just gonna open the firmware up and then copy this one the something that fr i just gonna put on the root of the sd card now it's done okay so i'm gonna get out to here okay guys so now we're gonna start the process of updating the r5 so here i'm gonna go into the menu and into the setting we go into the setting and here we are in the setting and number six and then we are firmware so in that firmware you can see that the, the current firmware is 1.8.1 all right so that's what we're gonna update so we update firmware yes let go to okay and then we we'll press okay so now it's updating all right so it's going to take a um, few moments. All right. So, yeah, firmware updated already. So I'm going to show Yeah, now I can have a look at it in my monitor. So let's go to menu. So you can see now it says firmware 2.0.0. Great. So, yeah, I could have my my friend. So that's quickly updated to the latest firmware. But it's no, I don't think there is really massive, massive changes. So, and you know, the big firmware update that we're waiting for is not, is that's not the one. So we're just gonna keep, gonna keep waiting. And you know, the challenge that I, I seen is that I could not update it with my SD card anymore, only Save Express card. So that's something that also be aware of that. I don't know if that's my camera or it's generally that's what it is, but. If it's general, please do let me know. Okay, my friend. Yeah. Like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I will see you in my next video. All right. Peace be upon you, my friend. Kuna Matata. Bye.